Thanks, Patty. And I begin with the story of a couple who faced a near tragedy. It changed their life purpose and put them on a course to unite Indy. Jim and Nancy Cotterell, an Indianapolis couple dedicated to each other in a 47-year marriage, dedicated to their sons and grandchildren, and dedicated to the dream of being entrepreneurs since high school. I was an entrepreneur when I was a teenager, so I, I managed a band, so it was just kind of natural to me. Nancy's dad was an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. So the Cotterells started a publishing career in the 1970s, helping found the Indianapolis Monthly, the Indianapolis Business Journal, expanding the concept to other states, and a CEO magazine in Indiana and Ohio. It was completely over overwhelming. It took over our lives. But they loved journalism, the stories they told, the celebrities they profiled, and a life in the business spotlight, often on TV. Businesses are paying a lot of attention to this. But one day, the lights dimmed after a tragic accident. I went out for a bicycle ride with my son at night, and it was very dark. And I went over a ledge that I didn't see in the dark, flipped over the handlebars of the bicycle and broke my neck. Nancy and family close by ran to his rescue. By the time they got there in that 50-yard run, I wasn't breathing and I had no pulse. So they started Nancy and my brother-in-law mouth to mouth and chest pressure. A lifeline in the nick of time, but Jim's injuries, devastating. He tried to die about three times while we had him in intensive care and it was, I, I was alone up there and um, luckily people and friends gathered around us and we made it through, but it was very difficult. Doctors feared Jim might be paralyzed, but he recovered and they feel God healed him. When you look back, you go, oh, yeah, God did that. Oh, yeah. He's the one that sent this person. I can't talk about it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it was a tough time. After that life-changing moment, the Cotterells focused on what mattered most to them, serving others. They held fundraisers, one with Christopher Reeve, to serve people in the wheelchair community. Nancy founded People on Wheels, an online resource for people who use wheelchairs, and she resurrected the Miss Wheelchair Indiana pageant. And Jim raised millions for charities as the president of a Christian foundation, and he wrote a book along with Nancy. And we're co-authors of World Changing Generosity. The book focuses on why giving matters. But just think if we all gave a little, the difference that could be made. Today, Jim and Nancy are on a mission to transform our city. They're starting with the inner city after an urban pastor said this to Jim. So you're sitting up there talking in your gated community, houses are on fire down here. And when he said that, it just hit me that, you know, that's true. You know, we're There's not, no we're not paying waste. attention. We, this is something that's got to be done now, not next year, not in five years, but now. So the Cotterills formed Unite Indy. It's a non-denominational Christian organization fighting poverty and racism in the inner city and educating suburban communities about the problem. The big differences you see are unequal educational opportunities, uh, employment opportunities, you know, transportation to get the jobs from the inner city if you don't have it. Unite Indy will recruit business leaders and the whole community to support urban churches, ministries, and other charities that struggle to serve so many people in need. They're dying on the vine. They, they cannot do what they do and raise money at the same time. And Unite Indy's idea is to put a safety net under all these people to, to join hands with them, to find out who's doing the great work and to funnel money and volunteers into them. I think it's a great organization. It's something that's definitely needed to really uh, bring the suburban and urban communities together. Unite Indy reminds us that every child, every family, every community matters. You can sign up to volunteer or donate on uniteindy.org. You'll help Jim and Nancy lift people out of poverty. It breaks my heart, and I can't do anything about it by myself. Yeah, yeah, well, and exactly, and it, if, if we don't do it, who? And if we don't do it now, when? Through all of your life experiences, what would you say about what matters most to you? To do something that matters for somebody else. If they never know my name, that's just fine. I just really want to know that somebody's life was made better. The Cotterells both live a life of purpose, to treat everyone equally, to show love, to be generous.
I hope you've been encouraged by Jim and Nancy to start focusing on what matters most to you. We get this one beautiful life, at least on this earth. Live with passion and purpose.